welcome back to the channel. This is Kyle Gunn with Mike Marini Chevrolet here on another beautiful day in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Here today we got a 2020 Chevrolet Malibu LT. This is going to be in the most popular trim level right there in the, the middle. So it's a nice balance of features and equipment, yet you still get a great value with it. So first thing first, go ahead and remote start it up. Give you a nice little walk around and we'll dive on in. So up front, you're gonna notice in 2019 they did a redesign, new front fascia with the headlights, new LED daytime running lights. On this LT, you're gonna get those 17 inch aluminum wheels. Now this specific vehicle, the only option that we put on it is wheel locks for $75. Everything else is going to be standard on that LT. Now I really, really like the redesign here with these tail lights, really sharp. Go ahead and pop the trunk, I'll show you the space. Tons of room as you can see. And these rear seats, they just fold down. Pull that little lever there on each side, it's that 60 40 split. It's a really sleek looking car. Sorry about that tag. windy out so hopefully you can still hear me pretty good and you're here in that back seat like I said with that tab these fold down get pretty flat so I had a 2016 Mal Malibu it was the premier model and uh, believe it or not I actually fit a uh, full-size bathroom door with the frame in there from the trunk had to skip the front seats up a little bit but hey it's possible so lots of room let's go ahead and jump on in so i have the front seat back actually quite a ways i'm six one i got lots of room of course with the redesign of the malibu a couple years ago they added the vents back here and now you also get that 12 volt underneath lots of room here in the center too cup holders and built-in armrest. That about does it back here. Let's check out up front. Alrighty and moving on in to the front part now where you're going to spend most of your time in this 2020 Chevrolet Malibu LT. Going to start things off as normal over in the driver's seat. Over on the door got your power locks, power mirrors, power windows, of course the driver's automatic up and down. Speaking of automatic, so are your headlights. Don't have to worry about those. It's gonna be your driver information center. It's gonna be pretty similar to the other vehicles. How it's controlled on the steering wheel here by these four arrows on that center check mark. So left and right, gonna move between the top menus. And up and down, I'm gonna go through them. So most of the time you'll have it there on the digital speedometer. And you can see a couple different trips, fuel range, average vehicle speed and a timer. On your vehicle, it's gonna give you stuff like the remaining oil life, air filter life, oil pressure, tire pressure, battery bolts, coolant temperature, and you can change the units and uh, set a speed warning if you'd like. And Eco just gives you some more vehicle information as far as, uh, oops, as far as the economy and everything. So you can take a look, the best 25, 50, and 450 miles and see an eco index as well. Besides that, you also have your cruise control there, and then behind it, you have the radio controls for going through your favorites on the left, and then on the right, gonna be your volume. Speaking of which, let's move on over. So, this is now gonna be standard, the 8 inch touchscreen here. It used to be a part of the con uh, convenience and technology package, but they made a lot of that stuff just standard on the LTs now. I'll go over all that as well. So this, again, it's that eight inch Chevrolet Infotainment 3 system. So of course you have your backup camera. When you turn it in reverse, it's gonna pop on. 
The lines are dynamic, so they'll turn when you turn, or you can turn them off if you'd like. Audio, what you're listening to, of course, your AM, FM, XM. Uh, it also has Bluetooth, and then below, if you have anything plugged in, you have your USB-C, USB-A, and auxiliary port there. Another 12 volt for charging as well. Going back home, like I said, Bluetooth, so your phone can be paired up. You can have up to 10 of them on there. Wi-Fi has its own Wi-Fi hotspot. Connect your friends, family, and everything onto it while you're out on the road, so they're able to save on some data there. Um, get a better signal too than your phone if you're out in some remote areas. Standard now, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, never pay for navigation again. Just plug your phone in with that manufacturer's cord down below. And uh, Apple Maps pops right up on the screen. Google Maps pops right on up. It's updated instantaneously. It works great. Even shows you like the traffic and stuff with it. The touch of a button, you have your OnStar services. And then of course some settings that you can adjust the vehicle there. Moving down below, if you notice this little button here, it's lit up. If you want, you can press it. Now that auto stop turns off, so they actually did finally add that disable button there. Really nice. Some people really just don't like that auto stop technology. I personally like it. It's a way to save uh, on fuel and hey, save some money. Why not? Other than that, you have your hazards there. Dual climate control. So let's say over on the right, I'm set at 70. On the driver's side, I'm at 60. If I want those the same, just hit sync and they stay there. Nice thing too, you can just hit automatic and it'll take over all your directionals and fan speed to get you to that desired temperature. Now, like I said, there's a couple things they added and made it standard in the LT instead of making it a package. So the eight inch screen you get, heated seats you get, as well as a remote start too. So pretty convenient. They just took a lot of those main things that people liked, put it standard in a package for you. Alrighty folks, that has been my presentation on the 2020 Chevrolet Malibu LT. Hope you enjoyed the video and found some value in it. If so, please go on and smash that like button to help me out. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any questions on this vehicle, please go ahead and drop them in a comment below. I promise I'll go through and answer each and every one of them. Also, if you or anyone you know in Colorado is in the market for a newer vehicle, I'd love to be of assistance. I'll drop my contact info below. Again, my name is Kyle Gunn with Mike Maroney Chevrolet here in the beautiful city of Colorado Springs, Colorado. Thank you for your time and we'll see you next video.